Well, have we been wrong about the classic holiday special, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, for all these years? I mean, did we miss the point of what this story was really about? Well, according to one transgender writer, a respected transgender writer, I might add, we have completely missed the point. Let's get into it, guys. Welcome to The Conservative Truth. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, enable notifications to always get new video content, and support me on Patreon, patreon.com slash conservative truth. Link in the description, sign up, become a $5 or more patron today. If you guys enjoy these videos I do, you're blessed by them, and you would like to support me by making a monthly donation, that would be greatly appreciated. We're also going to be making exclusive content on Patreon very soon that will not be seen here on YouTube. And with all the censorship happening on YouTube, I may be completely kicked off this platform before too long anyway. So don't wait for me to disappear. Get on over to Patreon and sign up today. Now, like I said, you know, this transgender writer, a completely different take on the holiday classic, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, who, by the way, this writer, this, uh, this Jennifer Boylan, Jennifer Finney Boylan, writes for the New York Times, so that should tell you about uh, his or her or whatever it's calling itself's credibility here, but saying that uh, conservatives as a whole have missed the point about Christmas, which I find funny coming from a transgender who says that conservatives have missed the point of Christmas because, well, we know as Christians, as conservatives, we know that the point of Christmas is to celebrate the birth of Christ. But here in this particular article, uh, Boylan is talking about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and how, you know, it's really a story about a reindeer who was queer, who was gay. In fact, the writer is calling it the queerest holiday special of all time. But see, you never knew that, right? But now you do because we're all being, you know, we're all being educated here by, you know, the, the very respectful respected uh, Finney Boylan here. Jennifer Finney Boylan knows way more than you or I do. In fact, she says that that red nose, or it's red nose, again, I, I don't know how to refer to these, the, the alphabet, I'm going to call, call it the alphabet writer, okay? The alphabet writer said that because of Rudolph's red nose, that was a dead giveaway that Rudolph was in fact queer. And the real reason that he was ostracized from all of his other little reindeer friends. That's why they didn't let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. It's because he was queer. And it's a story about accepting those who are in the LGBT community. Well, I applaud, I applaud the alphabet writer for letting us know that. I mean, do you guys feel better now? Do you feel more informed about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Or do you think the alphabet writer is completely full of it? And are you sick and tired of the LGBT community trying to destroy Christmas, trying to pervert Christmas, ruin everything that we know that it stands for? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Again, check me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash conservative truth. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I will talk with you soon.